One thing I've learned from my wife in all the years I've been with her is that you can't stop human, the human need to want to continue things that make us feel good. And it doesn't, you know, I'm not referring to sex or food necessarily <clears throat> or, or materialistic things. I'm talking about like, like when my kids, they're 12 years old and they're shooting bow and arrow for the first time. You should see the looks on their face when they accomplish shooting the bow and hitting the target. Uh, the first time that they helped me uh, fix something on the fifth wheel or on the motorhome, the Class C motorhome, uh, the look of accomplishment, like I accomplished something, now I want to accomplish something more. Now to their point where they can, at 12 years old, they can start their own campfire. The, the need to keep the things going that make us happy and drive us. And those are the things that we need to remember come from our heart, not from poli what politician is elected. And, and, and that's something that probably angers me the most about where we are in the world today is that we determine how our lives are lived based on who, what, which political party is in office. We decide, we, we let other people decide on TikTok and social media what the new trend is. And this is nothing new. It has nothing to do with social media because social media just replaced things like magazines and cable television and newspaper. The form of media changed that made people predetermine what their destiny was based on other people's choices, not on your own. Here's a great example. There, there are, it, it, economies come and go. Economies have been good, they've been excellent, and they've been downright depressing. But yet somehow, 30, 35% of the people in the world come out ahead of any economic problem because they realize it is a roller coaster. And they just choose not to go on the roller coaster with everybody else. They just stand aside and watch everybody else go around and go, eh, at least I'm not going to throw up. I, I talked to a guy today that was very interesting. He had a uh, he had a way about him that was very interesting. He would rather pay a lower interest rate than a lower price. It shocked me today. I, I couldn't believe it. 